beautiful beaters. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I have my two Adornable Elements Beads of the Month clubs to share with you guys. I have started getting their Hot and Trendy Club and their two whole bead single clubs of the month. They have six different types. And before we get into the beads, something new that they sent this month is this welcome booklet. So even if you are an existing subscriber, you will be getting one of these. And it's a great little glossy booklet with all of their information, their contact info, more information about your account. So kind of like all the FAQs and things you'd need to know about signing up for one of their clubs all in this handy booklet. So that is something that will be coming in all the November shipments. It will be a great reference because I know they have a lot of different clubs and they probably get a lot of questions about all the different things they have to offer and the logistics of everything. The other thing I wanna to mention too in this insert that they sent with the November clubs is that they are going to be closed from the 5th through the 13th of December and they do that every year so it's nice they're giving everybody a heads up they are awesome at responding if you ever have any questions or if you need to reach out to them for any reason they really do have great customer service so if you don't get a response from them in between that time frame that would be why all right so like I said I got the hot and trendy and the two whole clubs of the month and also their additional findings add-on pack that they've recently started up and that's an additional $12.95 I will leave a link to the adorable elements beads of the month clubs below in case you want to check out all the different subscriptions and things they have to offer because not only do they have six different types of subscriptions they also have a rotating subscription that I've shared for over a year that cycles through all of them and they have single clubs and double clubs depending on the amount of beads that you want to get so these two are the single clubs if you are signed up for the double it would cost more but also contain twice the amount of beads so still eight containers but the containers would be twice as large so here's the findings companion pack we'll get into that at the end and we have the two themes here for the two whole club and the hot and trendy club so this one looks like columbine so i guess like the flower and then this one is delicious. so let's go ahead and start with this one on the left the two whole club and take a closer look at everything that's inside. So let's do our flip over. Ooh, pretty purples and hot pinks. You never know what color combo you're going to get, but it's a great way to get a monthly surprise and inspire your creativity and work with some coordinated items. Here is a look at the list in case you want to refer back to this for any reason. It gives us the names of everything that's included. These codes here correspond to the label on the container so you know what is what and it also tells you how much is in here. They don't have a store at this time where you can purchase more on their site, but you can use these names, for example, to do a search and see where else they are offered online. And everything included in these clubs is extremely high quality, so it's worth the price in my opinion. I am not signed up to this club to get a bargain. I'm signed up to get very high quality beads in interesting shapes and styles and well curated color collections that really speak to me and spark my creativity. So you have to decide if that's right for you. Let's go ahead and go through all of these one by one. All right, so the first container we have here contains five pieces of jet violet laser etched coin beads. These are so interesting and even more interesting that they have two holes. There is a look at where the holes are placed running parallel up and down through the bead and how interesting is this swirly shape. They're so funky with the black swirled on the matte metallic violet color. These are definitely not something I would have gone and picked out on my own, but that's why I love these subscriptions because now that I have them, it's gonna inspire me to do something creative that I wouldn't have expected. Next up we have these. These are the Tutti Frutti Pitahaya Paisley Duos and there's seven and a half grams in there. They are so vibrant. It's crazy. Look at that coating on there as I move them around. They have a bit of a like metallic luster on them. I remember seeing some of these Tutti Frutti beads I think last year. Not from Adorable Elements but from somewhere else and I had received some in blue and they were just the same like really vibrant blue coating. So anyway as you can see these are little paisley duo shapes with the two holes running across the little paisley design there and glad to add another color to my stash to pull from and work with. Next up, we have a container containing Tweety Pink Kiops Parapukas. What a great finish on these. Love the tweed finish. I have received some beads in this tweed and other color combinations and other shapes. It's just a speckled kind of a paint splatter type of design. Love the pops of hot pink that are contrasting with the black and silver. And as you can see, these are a triangular kind of flat bead 
with the two holes running up and down this way parallel through the triangle. Next up, we have another Tweety combination. These are the Tweety Violet Honeycombs. This time, instead of the hot pink contrasting with the black and silver, we see that bright metallic royal purple and the honeycomb shape, of course, they are a six-sided bead, kind of flat with the two holes running parallel through the bead. Great option for bead weaving. And I love how this color palette is coming together. All right, here's our next container, bringing back that very bright, tutti fruity Pita Haya color, and these are in the Gem Duo shape. Again, with that extremely vibrant pink there with that luster on it, you can see the two holes running across the diamond shape of these Gem Duos. And I didn't mention it yet, but every month when you're a subscriber to one of these clubs, you will get a special link on your invoice in the corner with free patterns. So you can access new free patterns every month that can possibly help you to come up with ways to use some of these beads. So I think that's a great feature. Next up, we have this container, which contains the black slash lilac luster super duos. There's 12 and a half grams in there. And I'm loving these two-tone super duos, seeing them called duets. And I actually have a tutorial that I'm planning to do using these in the future. That's a gorgeous color combination with that light lilac purple and the very deep eggplant glossy color on the other side. Can't wait to use these. Next up, we have another shape. These are the metallic suede purple ginkgos. I love working with these ginkgos. I did a necklace tutorial using them a few months back. You can see that ginkgo leaf type shape that they have in the two holes that are running up and down the bead there. Another very vibrant purple tone to go with our collection here. And that brings us to the last container in our two hole beads of the month club. And that contains satin metallic cranberry crescents. Another one of my favorite two hole beads to work with. And that's such a gorgeous shade of pink. You can see it's very metallic, not quite as hot pink and vibrant as these tutti fruity beads that we had received, they're more toned down, and a great way to round out our eight different selections inside the club this month. So let me pop these back in their containers, and then we will look at the Hot and Trendy Club, which has a totally different theme. All right, so here's the Hot and Trendy Club that I received this month. This one is in the theme Columbines. So let's do our flip over and see. Yep, totally different theme. So we have a lot of periwinkle, some light yellow, some white, and then some pops of metallic and etched beads here to look at. So let's take out the list and then we'll go through everything just like we did before. So here is that list if you need to refer back to it for any reason. So now would be a good time to mention that if you do sign up using my coupon code, which is OPAL10, and will save you 10% off the first month of your subscription, you may be put into a similar rotation to me, but that just depends on what you sign up for. And we could overlap in some months, depending on the type of club that you're getting, but our color schemes may differ. So it just depends on what stock they have at the time, but you could get a totally different color scheme in the Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month Club. So I just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and take a look first at our pastel layer sapphire trinity beads so that's this container right here you can see these are extremely unique and they actually remind me of little fidget spinners can you tell i have a little boy that's such a pretty satin periwinkle color and you get seven grams of these and i will be honest i have no idea what i would do with these so i'm gonna have to look that up and that's fun for me to do i love getting something new and different that i wouldn't normally pick up on my own and then coming up with something i really love so that's a nice handful there even though this is the single club and not the double club i still feel like i get quite a few beads Next up, also in that same color, the Pastel Light Sapphire, we have the Rizzo beads. So these are an elongated rice type shape with the hole that is drilled through the top of one of the ends. These are great for fringe in bead weaving, just to give you an example, like off the cuff of a bracelet or the end of a necklace or earrings. That is such a gorgeous color. Then we have some Ava beads. So I recently received some Eva beads in a box and now I've received the Ava. That's exciting to me. There are 12 pieces in here and they even packed them with this little bit of packaging foam to protect the beads and keep them from shaking around in the container, which I appreciate. 
And that's such a cool color combination. You have the very bright metallic etched silver on the back there, an A-shaped bead, and two hold, as you can see here, because it's kind of translucent, with one hole running through there and one hole running through there. I think Potomac Beads has a lot of patterns for these as well, since this is one that they typically carry. And you can see that the other side has a almost inner glow that's glowing blue and purple back. Very cool. And then next, this one contains crystal etched Bermuda blue lentil. So that same color combination with the silver etched and the Bermuda blue showing on the other side, this time in the lentil format. So it's a flat disc shape. And then they have a hole that's drilled off center toward the outer edge of the circle. Love that fun color combination. Our next selection is Alabaster Pastel Yellow Crisscross Cube. And I have to look at these close to understand what the crisscross means. And I think I see. So the holes on these are drilled off center also. You can see there's a hole. And I think these are two hole beads. Very light, satiny, pastel, butter yellow color that's beautiful, goes really well with our periwinkle and the light sapphire. And I can see why they call this collection columbines, because if you know what those flowers look like, that's usually the combination of colors that you see is that pastel yellow and that periwinkle kind of light bluish purple. All right, next up we have a more vibrant yellow bead. These are opaque yellow hip beads. There's 40 pieces inside. Now that is a bright pop of yellow. These are a small flat teardrop with the hole running through the top of the pinched portion right there. Then our next container contains something that's another new to me shape, and these are pastel blue Emma beads. There are seven and a half grams in the container. So they are triangle shaped beads, but they're different because they are three hole beads and the holes are placed differently with a hole at each point in the triangle. I'm gonna have to look up some things for these for sure and can't wait to play around with the shape. And the final thing that we received in this collection are white pinch beads. This is not a shape that is a stranger to me. I have quite a few pinch beads, but I don't have any in white. They're not as exciting as some of these other crazy shapes and colors, but I do like having a classic white pinch bead in my stash to pull from. And they're a good accent for some of these things that we see here on the bead mat. Instead of moving this off the mat, we'll just go ahead and open up the findings companion pack for this month. This one contains all these items here on the list, and it looks like we're getting these items in a black finish, so that's different. The first thing on our list is a magnetic clasp assortment. So we got two of these. I'm gonna put one down because they just wanna stick to each other. They have a rhinestone in the center, and by the way, the findings that they include are all very good quality, and that goes along with the beads that they sent. So I've been very happy with the types of findings that they have sent already. And every month it will be a different type of metal. We've gotten silver, copper, gunmetal, for example, already. We've not gotten black, but they've just started doing these findings companion packs. So here's a look at the magnet, and they are quite strong. I don't have anything like these class, so that's fun and different. See, they just want to stick to each other. And then we also got two other magnetic class, but I'm actually pretty excited about because they are so different than anything that I've seen. I'm going to put one down again just because they want to stick to each other. But the way this works is you actually pull this part up and there's the magnet and it wants to stick. And then you can pull that loop end off of that side and then that's how it closes. That is really cool. These are very substantial and you can tell by the feel that that coating is not going anywhere. It's a very sturdy and thick coating so it doesn't feel like it's gonna chip or flake off. I'll be honest, I was pretty leery about the black findings because I'm like, I don't have anything else that would go with the black findings in my stash so I would have to depend on everything they sent. But they did send quite a few different things. Here's a bag of chain as well you get 30 inches of chain and this is in a five millimeter flat curb style and it is aluminum so it's pretty lightweight which is kind of nice when you're getting the five millimeter because it's not as heavy as brass or another metal might be and then again with that thick glossy coating it doesn't feel like it's gonna peel or chip off we also received 12 head pins. They're two inches long with the ball at the bottom. They're 22 gauge. So that will be good to have in combination with these other items. 
In addition to those, we have some French style earring findings and also some plastic backers. There are six ear wires included. And then we have two different sizes of jump rings. The ones I'm holding here are the five millimeter. They're an 18 gauge, same color being the black. There's 10 of these and then there's eight of the six millimeter size. So I think the black is gonna be a challenge for most people just because most beaters aren't gonna have other black findings in their stash. It's just not as common. But remember, you could combine it with gunmetal tones or silver. You don't have to use the same tone. Depending on what you're doing, it can look kind of nice to mix metals. And black is one of those neutral colors that can go with a lot of different things. So if you've gotten the black and you're disappointed, you know, don't write it off right away. Sometimes things can surprise you. So that is everything for the Findings Companion Pack that I received this month, also the Hot and Trendy Club, and then the bits and pieces that I'm adding here from the Two Whole Beads of the Month Club. So don't forget to use that coupon code that they have generously set up for you guys if you'd like to. That is OPAL10 to save 10% off the first month of your first subscription club. I'm never disappointed with the quality that I receive in these clubs. They also have other ones including my Yuki Delicas, my Yuki seed beads, fire polish, Swarovski crystal. So check out their website to really get the details on the various clubs they have, the prices, and anything else you want to know because these two particular ones are great for me, but they may not be great for you depending on what you use your beads for and why you like to sign up for these subscriptions. So feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are also one of their subscribers, what club you received this month, if there's something here that jumped out to you today or anything else you'd like to say, I'd love to hear from you. Once I've had a chance to play with some of these beads, I will be back to share in future finished jewelry updates and future tutorials, all of those things. These types of clubs are what really inspire me to come up with new designs to be able to share with you guys. And there's a lot of value in that for me personally. So other than that, until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnoble.com. Thanks for watching.